In 1940, just after the fall of France, the German forces made it a priority to capture the Channel Islands. Jersey fell on the 1st of July after a small bombing campaign by the Luftwaffe. On the 6th of June 1944, the tide would change. The battle for Normandy had begun and the Channel Islands would be surrounded by the end of August. Finally, on the 9th of May 1945, the German forces on Jersey surrendered, ending the five-year occupation. Today, the scars of the occupation are still very visible. Most of the World War II bunkers are still standing after being too well-built for removal in 45. Between May 45 and March 46, the clearance of bunkers and gun batteries was given to Force 135, Royal Army Ordnance Corps. Force 135 was tasked with the removal of 415 guns on Jersey. These range from 20mm anti-aircraft guns to 22cm coastal defense artillery guns. Most of these were disposed of by dumping them into the sea. However, Force 135 pushed 45 heavy guns over the cliffs on Jersey's northwest coast, this northwest corner of the island is the resting place of these Second World War guns. Locally, this area is known as the Gun Graveyard. On a low spring tide, it is possible to see what's left of these weapons.
In the 1990s, a group of volunteers raised seven of the guns. Many of these are now on public display in Jersey and Guernsey. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to discover more about the Second World War history of Jersey, please like and subscribe. You can also support us on Patreon with lots of membership options.